Hello YouTube, this is NHFD Cadet um, demonstrating how to program a Radio Shack Pro 82 scanner, the Radio Shack PC interface. Um, the interface is not included with the scanner, uh, you have to buy it separately. Uh, I ordered this one online. Plugs into the USB port of your computer and into either the headphone jack or the interface jack for scanners that have interface jack um, on your scanner. So, to start off, I'll plug this into my computer, the USB port, and then I'll plug this into the headphone jack of my scanner. Some scanners, like I said, actually have a interface port on them. Um, However, the Pro 82 does not. So now I'm going to go into the uh, programming program on my computer. Uh, it's called ProLink. Uh, basically, it's like a Microsoft Excel type of program. Getting the focus there. Uh, you have here in the first column. You have your frequency, your channel number. Then you put in your frequency, put the description of the frequency, so like dispatch, fire ground, whichever. You can put car number, I don't really know what that's for. Then you put delay, lockout, and priority. So to start out, you put in the frequencies. Description. Batch, no car number. For delay, lockout, and priority, I'm gonna just type in either true or false. So I want this one to be delayed. I don't want it locked out, and I want it to be the priority channel. And then you just do the same thing for the next row. If you want to delay lockout priority, I already have a uh, list of the frequencies. I have 28 or 31 frequencies uh, in it. Three of them I'm not sure what they're for. Uh, I forgot what, what to put in which ones they were for. Um, so I have our dispatch channel, command channels, scene channels, traffic, the air tack, which is for the Lifestar helicopter, New Hartford Emergency Management, the town highway department, Torrington Fire, fire ground, Campion Ambulance, Winston Fire, Winston Fire Ground, the RIT channel, uh, Winston Fire Police, Winston EMS, Lifestar, Lifestar Ground Ops, Med 3, Med 7, Canton Fire, then I have NASCAR Fire, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Primary, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Secondary. Uh, I just figured I'd put those in and see if I could pick anything up on there. So I have, for delayed frequencies, I have the Dispatch, our Fire Ground Channel, Torrington Fire Dispatch, Campion Dispatch, Lifestar Dispatch, and Dale Earnhardt. Junior, um, I don't have any of them locked out. The priority channel is the dispatch. The uh, LCD is our dispatcher, uh, Litchfield County Dispatch. I have their channel on priority. Um, so if any other channel is talking, and then a guy over at LCD keys the keys his mic, then this channel will come up over any of these. Um, for delay, what that does is after they release the mic, uh, it'll still stay on that frequency again. So if the transmission gets cut off or something, it won't have to scan all the way through all your frequencies again uh, till it picks it up. So to set up for the transfer, you go to Transfer, radi Radio Link Modules. You can go 
you're going to go to Radio Shack Scanner Control Protocol Scanners by GRE. You're going to click Properties. There are six scanners you can program with this setting. Uh, the Pro 76, Pro 79, Pro 82, Pro 89, Pro 2016, and Pro 2017. I have the Pro 82, so I'm going to select that. For options, you have Show Transfer Instructions Message. I don't need that because I've done it before, so I'm going to make sure that's not checked. Set your communications port. I have it plugged in the COM4. Report speed and stop bits. Click OK. Click OK. And now you're ready to program. So you're going to take the scanner, make sure that the interface is plugged in. Like I said before, it goes into the headphone jack of the scanner. Put the scanner in programming mode. You're going to hold down the enter button and the 9 button. And you're going to turn it on. It'll come up on the screen. I don't know if the camera will focus in on that. It'll say wired. That means you're in programming mode. So you're going to go up on your computer. You're going to go to transfer. You're going to go upload all to scanner. This is communicating with the scanner. And you can see on the scanner, it's going through the channels. Uh, when it's done, uh, it'll go back to this screen. Then you're ready to unplug the scanner. Uh, you don't need to eject the scanner or anything. You just need to unplug it, and you're all done. And as you can see, it's scanning normally. This has been the demonstration of the PC interface for the Radio Shack Pro 82 scanner. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.